Hello, everyone. Good morning from my time zone here in Toronto, Canada. We are here today for a very special show, like what I said a few days ago, that uh, we are currently collaborating with the University of Benin to produce adult-oriented programs. So today we have our very first program with Professor Victor Mozua, PhD, a professor of linguistics Department of a Linguistic Studies, University of Benin. So um, we are very excited to have this program on Nebo TV. It is one year program, once in a month for two hours. So it's a certificate program. If you are interested, you can register. It's free of charge, free. You don't have to pay any money to register. So it's 12 months. If you can complete eight sessions out of the 12, you will uh, be rewarded with certificates at the end of the program, all right? So the program is running for every last Saturday of the month. Today is the last Saturday of January. That's why we are hosting the program today. So next month, the same thing, the last Saturday of next month, we're going to be hosting uh, the program again, all right? So if you want to register, feel free to call us or send us an email for registration. We're going to register you to ensure that you follow up with the program. And next month is going to be on Zoom. So we'll send you the Zoom link to join the program to give you more opportunity to ask questions. All right. So before we start the program, I will quickly allow Professor Edusa Omozua to briefly explain about today's program. Um, go ahead, sir. Give us a little bit of background of today's program. Okay. If we had done so much, it was here. Oh, eh, eh, my bidi, eh, my hair tie na, my bidi no redo, my bidi oh eh, ula me na lo, ba zedo. Eh, eh, my hair, if we here la dia, eh, when eh, when oh why eh na 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 lo. Okay. Uh, so uh, before we start the program, I would like to also introduce uh, Professor Esoe Omoregbe. She's with us here today from the Linguistics uh, Department at the University of Benin. She's here today to support us. Thank you very much. Let's So let's get this started. Okay. I have to pull out the presentation right now so that we start the program. So. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, sir. Okay, uh, that is uh, the first slide. So to the next slide. Okay. I'm not saying anything. That's the preamble. Okay, go on. Yes. Uh, we are going to talk about uh, reading and writing a do in this presentation. This is because there seems to be no standard, accurate, and consistent way of writing the language. Next slide, please. The way people write Edo has been a source of concern to me and many Edo speakers. For instance, if an utterance is written by 10 people, you are likely going to have 10 different versions of it. This is not good for any language. Next slide, please. <laughs> so the relevant sounds in Edo. The Edo language has a total of 39 sounds made up of 12 vowels and 27 consonants. Edo and Edo, who love in a low career. Uh, 
uge naga e na ti e ipo or consonant and then e iwe va naga e ola na ti e vawe these are the sounds used by Edo speakers in their day-to-day -day interactions. Each of the sounds will be pronounced and the phonetic symbols used to represent each sound will be displayed. So, the next one, please. The next slide, please. Uh, it will be demonstrated that the written form of a language derives from its spoken form. This means that a language is first spoken before it is written. The reverse is not true. I'm aware if you do. No, 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 why we are doing our setting Zedo and Azoi. So, Pan or Akin or Asena Ben, Emma here setting Bendo. So, when the cat I see a vowel that a Ola on a guy waver, na no redo. A hero of Naga Ola. Oh, no, that a or a vowels, and then it's several naga ola or you way that a nether vowels. The next, please go ahead. The next, the next, next slide. Yes. Okay, hey, uh if -huh. All I will be now. Yeah, me. Na vi weta or all I will be. Any of the the all I a can be o. I mean, a and o we do. However, all the seven other vowels are nasalized when. They immediately follow any of the five nasal consonants in the language. Okay, Kimaya Guacana. So go on to the next. So, Nimula Diana, still go up a bit. Raise it up a bit, please. Up. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's okay. So, and I, Ola, I will know. When I, when I'm where, when I'm where, a photo now, when you were, when a phonetician, young boy, so me at ye, now I were, Ola, no, Glare, don't know. And the first one, on your E, the second is A, the third is A, the fourth is A, the fifth is U, the sixth is O, and the seventh O. And I'm here where all that is here now. They are all over the world. They buy all that. Only way that you all learn a view with a on your nasal vowels. The carrier Muladiana is saying, Eh, no, now ready. Next, next slide. Next slide. Yeah, can you see? Yes, okay. So, all I say now, okay. Ola ri we na beti eh ola na vi we ta onyo neza vowels we we bo so yeah the art here that don't get now no ka o ke ri eh i no ge ba eh no ge ha ah 
no gene u ke be no gi sena ga e o ena e o la hiyan e o la we va no redo na lo be do o be ro eh eh iwe ma me ma ka iwe na i ma ka te o e abe o la o la na lo be do so okay ke wo a be do mu e pe na ya gbon eladia and a bi po no ro i po the the consonants when it cut i see e hi o nya ge na ga e o la wunu i mean e ipo o wunu na ti e consonant that is oral consonant then eh uh, please go up a little bit eh eh so eh we 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 e hi o nya ge na e va nya ge ora ga e o la ge i mean eh uh, ipo awunu that's oral consonant then e se bo na ga e ogi we na te nasal consonant e ma mi e da do ge eh we were mina so please go go for that next please next next slide <laughs> still go up so the oral consonants like i said are 22 22 eya wa muladia na odo some of the symbols are not properly displayed here because of the you know the format the format of the internet so but no ka wa na ga e p no ge wa na ga e b and then v c v t d c z re 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 li yi ki di ri pi bi wi ke re hi ena ipo awunu ora consonant e va nyange e yan ki e amula diana e simbo na loni a be a phonetic eh na kina the next please the next slide yes so eh ipo ogiwe na beti eh ulame na viweta eh na kin isen ya kin e na e mi mi ni ni mi isen ya kin so ara mi e we e wa se ne e ara mi e we e isen na e a wa be gbe re do mo da bo eh re ne a be boya ma wa e o ma gba fo so re ni ya ma kan gun akan be iwe mi na la mo no pare so vowels and consonants in the words 
So, if I can't win, it's better. Now, no, we do. From that, it's better. Can you hear? Eh, hola. Can we? Ipo. And we are going to be. It's better. So, in any human language, Vowels and consonants are used to form words. This is also true of the Edo language. Words and their pictorial forms will be displayed in this section. So my Akas went with uh, the Ola, uh, uh, Ola vowels. So go on. In alphabetical order, I can wear a photo. Okay, uh, ye. So one year, no car walk here. Ah, only a BD, the first one is ah. Ah, na here. A laba laba. Na me photo, I want a betia e rumuriaria e rumuriaria e la balaba e la bala eh ani obere atalapa obere aga kebe akasan a a a oni e eh ola no kao wa bidiedo Next, please. Next. No, I will let you know. A. A. Na. Can you read? A. B. I will read. A. G. We na mo ela di ana. A. 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 B. A. G. No, Lele. Next. Next, please. No, I will let you know. Eh. Eh. No, Re. Eh, Ru. Eh, Mila. Eh, Kire. Anyo, eh. Eh. Ola. No, Re. Abi ikpeme na eru emila ekie next please no ibe le le na gae i i no re i keke abe re i hue next no ibe le le na gae o no re oduma. No re odo. O. No re le le na ga e o. No re o ka. No re o go. O. No re le le na ga e u. Ore Uko Utu Esuwusu Next please Then Abe Abe Ola Na viweta Ola giwe Ani na e An Ah, no re iga. Abe re ugama. Abe re okpa. Ah, no ibe le le na ga e. Eh, next. Uh huh. So, i. No re ivi. Abe re esin. 
Ovele e din. Kebe u din. Oni oye in. We do. Okay, go on. Next. Next. Oni na vega e o. No re u kwa. I hi on o. E don. A nyon. E di e on. On na hon bo ni. E e on na. Is it the NASA consonant? It's a NASA vowel. Okay, vowels. Okay. E we e. On la vowel e ka moula diya. Then the the this set now five of them they are nasal vowels. Okay, nasal vowels. Okay. So this is on nore ukon ihion edon keva nyon and then no even le then naga e un un na hon ba 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 ati e uvu edu. Oh yeah, now you have one, right? Eh, eh, na che, eh, na che, vowel na na vinweta. Eh, na che, vowel na vinweta. Abe che, vowelwe. Eh, so, u, uvu, edu, utu, eni o e e vowel. Ni redo, iwe vaya hi. No iwe lele na anaga e abe consonant. Aka aka tawe e consonant. Awu nu that is ora consonant. Ora consonant. So abe mu e e foto e ipe me ni ni aje ladia. Ora consonant. No no kawo. I oh, be B, no re a B. I be re a B ba, a B ba na yagba le, na yagba lize. Eh, oni a B, oni a no kawo. No be le le na ga D, D na hong ba ati e oduma, odo. Edon, Udi, wa hone ya, wame di di di, eh eh, nan ebe le dena ga e fi, ore o fyo to, e fyo fyo, o fen, i fi, pa ya mi e foto ga be, nan mou la di anan, o fyo to, E fio fio. O fin. E fi. The next place. Non ebe le den aga e. Gi. Na hon ba ati e. A gyo. A mougen. E gi le. E nye. Ora konsonant gi. No, I will never know. Please, the next. Next. The next, please. Uh, Wait, can't you see it? Next, next. Oh, I read it. Oh, okay. They are not responding. Can you even see? Can you see what I'm doing here? And I. Eh? Can you see? Eh, bring, go down a little bit. Eh, eh. Yes. That is B. B. No, re Agbada. No, re there. Egbalaka. Igbo. Ohogbo. I need a the B is a B. The B is a B. The B is a B. 
egbalaka igbon ohogbo okay next no i me le dana ga e ri ri no re ogede egugu igo ogede egugu igo Next place, no, 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 no. On a gare, he. Na ho ba a tje. U. I hi on. U ho yo. A hi. E hi. Na ve le le na gare, ki. No re, a ko. E ko. E kasu. E ka. Anyo e ki. A vede u koko. No e vede na ga e ki. No re e fui. Excuse me. E ki amo. A vede u kure. A photo for the number. Next, go on. Go on. Hey, okay. No, I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say Pi, pi no re ikpe di, ikpa ba, ikpa kpa wanga, uku, anye di, pi, na hon ba at, ba at yabe, ikpe veni. Ok, go on. Yes, sir. Iwe KP ni, ere English language, KP, pi. No, at all. You see, I'm an Ibo, uh, Ibo, they find it very difficult to pronounce my name because Nekme, Nekme, that KP is very difficult for them. Even if we may say, if I say to pronounce it, say, because it's a single sound. Yes. It's a single sound. Ere, ere. Ere, bo. Ere, bo. Ere, bo, as a bo. You see, any any name that has to do with this KP is very difficult for any English speaking person to pronounce it. Yes, yes. Ewata, ewata, ewata ni. Edi abe ye ne B. That is GB. I I remember a book one maga ame be school be safele. Oti e agbo. Owe ag owe agbo. Are those separate, eh? Yes. So that is yeah, how to pronounce it. That is the VB. VB. Eh, VB ni. VB. Eh, single sound. No, no, mommy. In the way, turn on now. VB. Mm. When I have gone, eh, Nikki. When I have gone. Mm. VB ni. Represent a single sound on your a V. Mm. No, there. Obe. Why am I here? Okay. Yeah. Uh, go on, go on. Let's go on. You will see that. Uh, no, 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 Move on. Eh, mami, Olonia. Leave it over. Over there, Egile. Egile. Okay, the next. Now we can have a P. No, re up here. Over there, Ipapa. And Ipapa, baby. No, I'm not going to be. 
Uh -huh. uh, here, uh, we need to stress that a do has three types of arrow sounds. And Amana pronounces, uh, say, you know, when a woman, a lady, I know, you are up by a low. No, it's a tip, uh, uh, pronounce, uh, no, re. Namula Diana, on your e, no, re, a car, a re, o, um, a re, a, 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 if you don't boo in a setting, yeah, setting pronouncing and memory that is uh, the arrow sound now. It's a type of arrow sound, the first type. On your e we no there a uh uh solo uh arrow and you hear many people now saying arrow it's not arrow, it's arrow arrow. Okay. Uh, not arrow. That is bad pronunciation. Hmm. Okay, next. So, uh, I have one question here. This arrow, what I'm that or here instead of no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, when you are even I am going. If we, when I am here, only the symbol, the phonetic symbol, I am going to have a red in it. So, even I am going, my my work, I am going to do. Here, here now. Okay. When I had tie, na hoba ba i tie la dia. Eh na hi. Eh, you know, see a dinner noise where those who are watching will be wondering why is it that the arrow is upside down? That's why. I'm no, asking. these are symbols. These are phonetic symbols. Okay. Hey, okay. I see na 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 pronounce each of the sounds. Why me na? Eh, are no go go to this picture. <laughs> This picture of uh, Ore, please mm. take it up. Hey, this one. Mm. Ore, eh, at your, on your water. Eh, Ore, they're not panaga e, Ore, they're not panaga e, Oloka. Eh, when I yag me, eh, I move ya. When me, eh, na mu na na diana no de square brackets. Mm. When eh, uh, it's the symbols na no. Phonetic symbols, eh? Now it has nothing to do with the 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 written forms at all. You know, she ain't a type. But now, where any language of the world, you know, is spoken before it is written. It is from the spoken forms that you extract, you know, the the letters, you know, represent each of the sounds. That is why we are presenting first. The sounds, the sounds. When uh, all the sounds now lower do, eh? It went thirty nine, eh? No, eh? Although I'm here in some books, yeah, we're twenty four. It is not correct. That is because our book, eh? I know the magani, the mare primary school. So yeah, only my guy here here. When I we So I will Forget about you know the the way it is written there. Free. What do we have any tie here? Free. No re okoru. I will urupa. A very a ru a fa on your a free free that is the second type of arrow sound. And the hate one, no, no, because I saw that the sound changes. Uh, the first one was uh, yes. more about uh, uh, oh, this one is re uh, this free free a mm. uh, re. Why are near the re? Mm. Go, go, go. I mean, the uh, next uh, slide. <coughs> next slide, we will see her uh, mujama on a re re on a pa a re ebo 
Devani na kata si ere ere bo. Rudani abe monai ni na. Iya iwa this re no re ebo. Iya iwa lo ne ha ano mag babeli o. Oh ha. Okay next ana iri ore iri and ore he no we zeke no we zeke we na ga eh c c in asele ise isan ukuse ana e c gone Then T or give me the lever. T no re kutu atete otie ite ite. Eh, go on. Now give me the lever. V no re uvu. Ivie, Ivin, Evato. Go on, please. Now we will learn that on a V, V na, e a hamba ati e, e be, o vi vi e, i fiavo. Iso e. But now I want to wonder where VB. VB ni even na ya going anything. When I at here, eh me, eh amu ladiana. If when I at here. So we do at here B na ladian like English and that we B. Eh? At here I I pronounce it as B. We. So. I know. Can you hear me? Now, uh, you know, uh, raise your voice a little bit. I said that B, B, I, a B, the B, B sound. The way, na ni mu la jana. Yeah. Arati e, a we V, V. Okay. A B, O B V, I K A B. Anyo e, the consonant na hawa eniki. When I act here, eh? When I act more, but I'm here when I act more later. Okay, go on. Now we learn how to say we, we, no re oiwo, oiwo, a bad way, owe, owe. Awele owe, awele ewe, awele ewu. Anyo e di we. No e wele na na ga e yi o yi ya u ye o yi ya u ye. No e wele na na ga e zi zi. No re is a baza where it might so where is a baza ba is so where it baza baza. And then we re is a is a no for Ozi. Any picture photo na mula diana. Okay, go on. We re ezira ezira ezira. Then. A consonant na bi we tabo, or a consonant i we, i we i se, e i a ki we do, i se. No ka wana ga e, mi, mi, no re e ma. O we re e me. O we re a mugen, ke we e me bo. Wah, honey, me, me, honey, 
a consonant, a cons a nasal consonant, the first one in the series. Yeah. Okay, the second one. Please next. <coughs> the second one, Onagae, me. Me. Naho Baatye. Umehe. Umehe. Ume. Olumu. Uhumu. Onye me. Maybe the Nagae ni. Ni. Naho Baatye. Unie. E ni. Unu. Unie. E ni. Unu. Onye e ni. Awele. Inia. Inia. Okay. Go on. Now you will let it go. 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 Up. Take it up. Yeah. This one. Can you see this? Upo. Take it up. Oh. Sure. I thought you can see this. Mm-hmm. No, go go back, go back. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Go back. Go back. Okay. Uh, okay, with the pictures. Uh, so the, the pictures we are seeing here is a picture of uh, soup in a dough. And you are a uh, a, a consonant na viwe tani a maladian se ma so on your e mwi mwi awe re o mwe awe re o mwo e mwe and so on and so forth on your e mwi mwi a consonant na viwe ta e no ok the next no e vele le naga on your e mwa is still the mwi it's, it's still in wind. So go, go. I mean, uh, go. Take it up. No, give me that guy. Ni. Na ho ba ati e anyo. Inya. Go. And then over there. Enye. Give me. Any, any, any charcoal, eh? Any, any, any. A consonant, right? it's a nasal consonant. We have five of it in the do. Okay, now the next segment is writing the adult language. If I am a yo, if I am a yo, on a logo, adult language, I'm easy. Uh -huh. we, uh, you know, in my name, you know, if we had a do, next is a do, and all that a next is going in a wabu. So, I was saying, uh, then I'm with uh, I don't know, Ladia. Why, me and you were Namu Ladia, see, when I act here. Each of the sounds, how to pronounce each of the sounds. Okay, so we have 39 of them. Up to the last one. Okay. So now we are going to present how to write a do properly because many people, a do, you know. As it comes to them, anything, anything goes, and it's not supposed to be so. As we said, um, the task in this session consists of identifying appropriate letters of the Roman alphabet to represent on a one sound, one letter basis. One sound, one letter. Each of the 39 sounds we have identified. So, where I'm here, where then my 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 do the primary school. 
a magba ye ye from that eh 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 abu la me so ana wa fi a fo a e va wo ke ye de eh de mi ke be ni na na ka na ka ho sin am ya ya de de me na ya gbo eh e o se na na ka we eh it's a very wrong alphabetic system. So now Mula Diana carry a abidia do not buy, not buy. So let us go. On. Okay. So uh, the strategy we are going to use here is the phonetic uh, spelling, phonetic spelling. And you know. Uh, uh, phonetic spelling. the sounds in a particular in a particular word, and how to represent them orthographically. Zeri Gary, I'm here where when a eko eko ye. Why spell it? Oh, a Key O A key O that is phonetic spelling. It has nothing to do with English or you know using the alphabet at all. A key O. So if I am to represent that in writing, I will look for the equivalent letter to represent the A. As we have it uh, earlier in a bay. So you put A there and then followed by key and then followed by O. So that is you know the the method used. So we have you know uh, in some cases when uh, the or oh, I don't like the single letters. I don't know yeah, where because I'm not gonna hear a letter of my yeah, my two sounds, it must be one letter, one sound. Okay, so else, yeah, why me where there is a difference between O and O, O in Oko, and then. Or in a car, they ask you another, you know, why me the O are you dot or pa? Are you your total? Now you differentiate it from the O. Yeah, you know, why me where a mass on now and that sound where her or in a heart or yeah, don't go wrongly. I were O R. No, it should not be so. It is O with a sub dot. Uh, now, now, what the bears play? No, no, no. I, I want to know this honestly. Are this all without dots? Why, by upon us, eh? Um, I mean, the all without dot mm. is pronounced o. The all with a dot is pronounced o. So, anywhere you have oh. that sound, mm. o, why are you going with do? Why? Put a a dot in your total. Eh? Mm. Only a sub dot. Mm. When I went uh, the honor, eh? mm. a h a t o mm -mm. a h a t o a h a t o. So the o r. Mm. When you going with o r, mm. they are doing it wrongly. So I can't even know. I can't pronounce so Oto, Otonia. I'm with Aryo. I'm with O. Can't get with dots. Oto, 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 Why is it there? 
Yes, I saw that. I saw that. I, I enjoy it, and it's very interesting. Very interesting. All these things we don't know. We don't know all these things. Oh, John, in it. Yeah, John. I know, sir. Will any matter? Can you, can you hear us? Okay, sir. Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. okay. Yes. So, so let's continue. No, I said this is very interesting. On what they interesting, and in my book, I watch a show now. Let the boy present your what I'm here for the benefit of our viewers today. Just be patient. After the presentation, uh, the floor will be open for everyone to ask questions. Okay. Yes. Uh, ask your question. Don't worry. Just hold on. If you have anything you are concerned about, write it down. Write your questions down now. So the floor will be open. There's a phone number here in the scrolling bar. Save the phone number, save it on your phone, and be prepared to ask your question after the presentation. All right? So if you have done it, maybe you have done it, you have leave a comment. This lecture is very important, guys. Very, very important. Anyway, let's go on, sir. I'll ask my questions later. So. <laughs> Okay, so eh na ta si na we e be na ze be na ze do e agbon e do be ye na unu ikunu na ze wa o ta gbon na writing is different from speak you know that is the speech forms are different from the written forms eh uh, so ba mi e ha e ha to ni agbon with o r ni e ri e ri a be gbon e ki adolo for instance uh, and so on and so on. So with O R is very very wrong. So it should be O with a sub dot. Anywhere, anywhere, even a old lawyer now. One two different uh, sound all over. The first one is O in O L, mm -hmm. and then the second uh, vowel is O. So why are going? The first one would be O without a sub dot. Yeah. Whereas the second one will be O with oh. the sub dot. With this oh, dot. Hmm. Hmm. And so let me just quickly give you one example. Um, uh, Okumbo. So I was, uh -huh. I, I saw some people spelling Okumbo with that O R. Why uh, it's wrong. You spell it it's wrong. O. I hey, mean, I wonder. I was wondering which one is the correct uh, spelling here. I was even confused. I was writing. Uh, the correct, the correct one. Yeah. The correct spelling is O with a sub dot. You don't put R at the end of at all. Of mm -hmm. That is the English, uh, you know, wrong way of writing a do. You know, for people writing a do. I mean, as if they are writing English. You know, so it will uh actually not kind of way one sound, one letter. Okay, una be uh why me oh law now and you just simply write O L O without the sub dot. It's wrong. It mm. will be pronounced as Olo. Mm. But if you put a sub dot on the second O. It will now be pronounced as O law. You can see that there is a difference between O and O. Okay, let's go on. Okay. Let's go on. Hello, are you hearing me? I can hear you, sir. So I'm in the next. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. I can hear you. I'm there now. Can you see? Hello? Are you hearing yes, me? Uh -uh. Uh, go on. <laughs> well, you know, uh, what is written mm. there is to say that every nagme ebo, every nagme do. Uh, you know, you can ha have the uh, ebo now. K N will be pronounced as uh, you have it in uh, knife. Mm. Okay, 
and then you have N I G H T in night. So K N and N, you know, they are two different, uh, you know, uh, orthographic form representing the same sound N in night. And so such representations are wrong. That is why in a do uh, the appropriate way of writing the language is what you know when I identify the sound, then you now look for the appropriate letter, one letter or digraph. When we say digraph, that is two letters representing one sound. For instance, when you have uh, the KH, KH is pronounced he. So when you are anywhere you have the the sound he why are you going you write k h mm. the same way uh why are going uh uh ulame no uh in ego ego go 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 the Digraph that is two letters representing that sound is G H G H. Then uh, Abe Uhina. No, 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 what can I you know, Lele, eh, no, I'm a little say, I said, you may do, you know, okay, eh, mommy, anywhere, that's on I bring that, uh. The I go go something that diagram. Huh. Uh -huh. Yes, but me a diagram no river now. The sound there no man I just say on your eh eh. But me when I have when I have going in letters is the the e with a sub dot on your eh uh, different from a. Eh. In a co, for instance, mm. the a in a co, there is no sub dot, but this, you know, because it is a the air sound, nana hoine, ye ye, I are going up e with a sub dot, then I'll be again o without a sub dot on your o, and then o with a sub dot on your o. So this is a one-to-one -one correspondence. That mulajan. Why me no road do no they read? That those are the sounds. And then no no road to talk. In green, they are the letters. We will see more of that as we go. So please go. Up. <laughs> the next one. Okay, he said it is important to note. That there is a marked difference between the Edo Abidis, which are the sounds. Abidis are sounds as they are pronounced. When he pronounced each of the Edo sounds, those are the Abidis. And then this is different from the, the ABCs you have in English, which are letters. Letters of the Roman alphabet, mm. as it, as they are used in writing the English language. So you can see here. Say, for instance, in English, the letter A. The letter A in writing is pronounced A. In that is a diphthong in uh, British English, or simply A in American or Canadian English. Okay, in words like Kate. Thus, the letter A corresponds to the sound A. Then the letter E. The letter E. Sorry, the letter you have there, it, it corresponds to the sound E in English, as you have it in Evelyn. Evelyn. Mm. So you have the, the letter you know, of the alphabet, E, but it's pronounced E as you have it in feet. Then 
it corresponds to the sound um, letter e corresponds to the sound e in the in the language then we are going to see the difference later I'll go up go up yeah so when you have the letter i the letter i is pronounced i in kite this means that the letter i and uh, the letter e of the roman alphabet corresponds to the sound i ah uh, yes so there is difference mm -hmm. between the english alphabetic system and the edo alphabetic system mm -hmm. that is the point we are making you see now the mm -hmm. the letter go, go the letter i mm -hmm. in edo represent the sound e mm -hmm. not i as you have it in, uh, English. in English. So in a door, however, that is the Maybe. point made here. People in English, the I is sometimes pronounced as E, like here, cat, I. Yeah. Uh, so those are the inconsistencies mm. we talk about. You know, a, a, an alphabetic system is not supposed to have such inconsistencies. So English is you know, you have lots and lots of such inconsistencies that were also extended because here my my dear do we not do here, and so that is why many people write a do as if they are writing English. English. Yes, exactly. Uh, why, why I'm here now? You know, the uh, in uh, the letter E is pronounced A in a do. The letter E. Is pronounced a in a do, whereas the letter I is pronounced e in a do, different from uh, I as you have it in uh, English. So you don't see uh, uh, what you have there. I uh, uh, I F I, if we are using the English, uh, uh, you know, spelling, but a do we say e f e e f e. So there is a marked difference. And that should be noted. Okay, can we go further? Well, what we, what we have there is you know this uh, mixture of uh, sound letter in English that uh, that were extended to the Edo language. For instance, you have a name Idahosa. Uh, you know when when. Uh, a British person was, uh, he saw that name of a student in England. He said, he, he, he called that man Ida Hosa because the letter I there, he pronounces as if it was English. Whereas in the door, you say E, that letter I represents E and not I. So it, it, that was the source of, you know, confusion, you know, by the English speakers. And so, you know, the the writing system is neither here nor there in you know the Edo writing system as they as they taught you know taught us in primary school. Okay, go on. Uh -huh. So you see here, you know the the Englishman that you know when he was co uh, corrected that uh, it is not Ida uh, Hosa. Then he was not going to write Idahosa and he used the letter E, which is also wrong. That is a confusion. You know, in a door, you don't use the letter E for the first sound in Idahosa. Mm. It is the letter I. The same way you have it in a dobo and then a, a dosa and so, and so on and so forth. So the letter, you know, you use uh, for a dosa, you use E, you know. As you have it in Evelyn and uh, evolution and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's a that wrong. was the fact. Eh? I said that is a wrong uh, spelling. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, now go, go on. Go on. Uh -huh. So, uh, well, you know, I mean, this was. Uh, 
what I what, what I saw in the in the in the uh, WhatsApp say only wine. See how he wrote it in that platform. You see, Domo with an O R, and then Ni Wang with it with the I there. You know, pronounce it as if it were English. Uh, I say wine, and then Ituwa instead of I. He wrote, he used the letter E. So, and you see the, the correct form there, Wadomo Ni Mwane. So, that is, you see, the, the, the use of OR and the rest of them was, you know, the error that emanates from uh, the way English, I mean, the door was taught our early uh, writers. Okay, let's go further. So this is the proper way of spelling it. You know, sir, uh, what we really need, all these basic uh, basic words that we use every day, like domo, sir, uh, or both, uh, or both, sir. Yeah, when you say, okay, when you say domo, eh, yes. it is D, very good, Rani, D, O with a sub dot, M, O with a sub dot. That is domo, there is no R. You see, this was the same thing uh, they were writing, you know, during the, you know, the, the, the just concluded, uh, you know, uh, 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 gubernatorial election. Mm. You know, there were Ogbane. Togba. 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 They wrote T O R. There is nothing like that. Very wrong. Togba is T O with a sub dot. And then ban the rest of them mm. so they, they you know, that's why i say that you know any other person writing i mean uh, writing the language they use you know the english uh system yeah, okay if, that is why we have if you say uh, if you are saying that a to is the correct way of uh, pronouncing it of spelling it what about uh Obara? no t uh? Where well, that we heard that her T O with a sub dot. Okay, I understand that. But with what, a sub dot. Yes. What about Obara to be? Uh -huh. You know, Rato is T O with a sub dot. Oh my God! Oh, I think all oh, adult people, please listen to this. This is very important. I need to share this now because yeah. we never. We never, majority of us never spell that T O R well. We always spell it as uh -huh. instead of that T O with a sub dot, we always spell it as yes. T O R. Uh, almost everybody. Exactly. Almost everybody. Everybody. I think, I think everyone should just make that correction now. Correct your other talk may spelling. Yes. Because me, I never spell it as T O sub dot. Never. I've never spelled it. It's What? 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 I mean, you know, I'm not talking about any. I have a good answer. You know, the full form is I'm not talking about We want you to help us with this common. Uh, words that we use every day, like you know that the oba atokbe is very common. Any Edo person finish sentence, we always add oba atokbe. We are not yes. spelling. We are making all this uh, minor errors. Yeah, but you know, uh, ninety or even ninety-five percent of Edo people write it wrongly. Yes, and it's a very common uh, sentence uh, that we use in Edo. So I I want you to help us with all these things. Okay, let's go forward. Hello. Yes, sir. You know what? Because of the time factor, I think there is loss of signal. Hello. Can you, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Uh, I can hear you now. Okay, sir. I said so let's because, continue. Uh, yes, because of the time factor, yeah. let's quickly uh, finish this up, wrap up in the next 10 minutes so that we go to the question session. I will allow the audience yes. to ask questions because with this presentation so far, 
I have many questions. We need some time. Me and myself, I have many questions. I know that those who are watching right now, they can't just wait to start asking their questions. Honestly, this is very interesting. Let's quickly wrap up. So. Okay. So let's let's continue. Let's continue. Then, uh, okay, now, how to write, you know, the Edo Ora and Neza Vowels? Just go on, just go on, so that I will present it because I also showed there, there are pictures to show that. Uh -huh. So, Mami, <coughs> Mujao, uh, go, mm. go up a little bit. Mm. Go up a little bit. Mm. Go up. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. You see, the seven Edo Ora vowels. E, A, E, A, U, O, O are represented in writing using the following single letters of the alphabet. So you have the letter, <coughs> the letter I, the letter I representing the sound E, the letter E, Representing the sound A, mm. the letter A, representing the sound A. You see, there's a, 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 a big difference. And then the letter U, representing the sound U, mm. and the letter O, representing the sound O. And then the subdot was introduced to distinguish A from A and O from O wow. in writing. Mm. So when you are when you are writing any word that has a, you don't put a dot a sub dot. But when you are writing any word that, that contains a the, a, a, the sound a, you have to put a sub dot under the letter e, e. and then a sub dot under the letter O to get the sound. Oh, oh, that's the way it is. Oh my! So let's go. So I, I think we have to read some of my question. I'll ask this question. Eh? I say I have this to ask. I, Hello. For my question, when in the question session, eh? I'm going to. Can ask, you hear me? I can hear you. There is a noise. Yeah. Uh -huh. So go up, go up. It's a go noise. up. So you have the the sound ah in. Aga, the sound A is in red, and the letter A is in green. Letter A representing the sound A in Aga. Okay? Before then we we'll move on. Before in English, sir, you know that A also eh? are in English. No, we, you know, forget about English. We are talking about Edo now. The, know. The, we are, you know, the Roman alphabet is used not only for English. It's used for French. It's used for for uh, German, uh, Spanish, and the rest of them. Uh -huh. So know. each one with, you know, we are talking of <coughs> sound letter correspondence. So you have the the sound a in red there, eh? as you have it in the B. And then the letter E is in green. So the letter E representing the sound A. So that basic difference must be, you know, take, uh, we must take note of it. Okay, next. Then you have the, the, the E in E go go. You see there, you know, the symbol. The sound symbol didn't come out, uh, but it's in the original or something. Yeah. But it is uh, the letter E with a sub dot. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's nice. A go go. Yeah. A, A go go. Okay. Okay, let's let's move on. Let's move on. Then you have the the uh, go, uh, no the, the the sound E in if yeah. represented by the letter i of the roman alphabet letter i 
of the Roman alphabet represents the sound E in the do, as you have it in Ifi. Ifi, that is trap. Yeah. You know, trap you use to catch, uh, you know, rabbits and all that. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Then you have the sound O in Odo. That sound is represented by the letter O of the Roman alphabet. So there is no difference between the sound representation and the, the, the alphabetic form. So let's move on. Then we have the sound O. This was what I was telling you. O in abo, that is branches. So you have the letter O there with a sub dot. So anytime you hear that sound O oh, and you want to write it in a do, you simply write an O and put a sub dot. That's the way it is. Okay, let's move on. Move on. <laughs> then, you know, Uki. The sound is U. And then the letter is U. The letter U in English. I mean in the Roman alphabet. Okay, let's go. Then the nasals. The nasals. You see, we have exhausted the single, the use of single letters, and therefore, an N is introduced as a diagram to represent each of the five nasal vowels. So let's go. You see. It. So you have the A. No, go down, down a little bit. Down, please. Down, down, down. Ahead. Yes. You have the, the diagram. When we say diagram, that means two letters representing one sound. So A, N. E with a sub dot. Followed by N as a digraph, represent the nasal vowel N. And then I N represent the nasal vowel E. And then O with a sub dot, followed by N, rep represent this, the nasal vowel O. <coughs> hmm. And then U. Followed by N represent the nasal vowel U. Mm. That's the way it is. Mm. So, you know, these are cases where you now use two letters to represent one sound. So you have here the A uh in Iga. So when you want to write Iga <coughs> in a do, you will write which stands for the sound E, and then the, the letter G, which, which stands for the, the sound G, and then AN as a diagram stands for the, the nasal vowel A. Uh. Hmm. So let's go to the next one. Interesting. Then, uh, bring, uh, so you have a uh, you know the 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 picture there mm. is the picture of a uh, Eben. Any adult person will, will know that, isn't it? Uh, so you see the in red. Mm. That is the the symbol for a eh, that is written e with a sub dot followed by n. So e with a sub dot plus n represents that single sound a. Eh, in Eben. So let's go to the next one. Next one. <laughs> so you you have in the the e in S the e in S that's the picture of uh, S there. So you have the I N as this the the diagram that two letters representing that single sound here e. In S. S. 
So that's because then you have the on in Edom. Edom. That's the picture of uh, Edom there. Then that on you hear. When you want to write it, you write an O with a subduct, compulsorily. Mm. And then N will follow. So those two two letters stand for that sound you hear on in a don. Then so, the same way sir, you have I, the mm, eh? so uh, we have like uh five minutes to end the presentation, sir, so that we have enough time for the discussion. Because uh okay, yeah. you know, uh, uh, where they, we are talking about uh the diagraphs used uh you know to represent a single sound so it's the same thing with the consonant just go uh, you know let's go quickly for the consonant it's the same thing you know the same method go up guys i do now the un representing the un so and let's go for that the e has a, a sub dot which means the e is like a eh, a eh, right that's a nine edu edu yeah, when you when you pronounce edu, mm. then when you want to write it, that first sound you hear is the letter e with a sub dot. So these are the oral consonants as we saw earlier. So just get us the pictures. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Uh -huh. So you, you have the b in ibata. There is no difference. Go on. B in ibata. D in oduma. Go on. Uh, fi in no fair. Fi in no fair. Go on. The e with a uh, stop dot. Oh, and that's of because you hear and the uh, fair. Oh. That's why you have e with a sub dot there. We are talking of the consonants now. Mm. The emphasis is on the consonant. The g mm. in red. That's the sound g. The letter is g. Okay, go on. Go on. Then you have the he in a ho. A ho. You see the a with the sub dot. Then the he in green with the letter H. That's the letter H standing for this the sound he. <coughs> okay, go on. Then the key in a key. No problem. You know, the same uh, form as the yeah. the the symbol for the sound uh, for the uh, consonant. Then you have the li in egile. Mm. The li in egile is the same, mm. you know, the letter L for the sound li. Then the letter, the letter P for the sound P. No more difference. Let's go. Yeah. Up here. Up here. Then, you know, it's, it's also in opehere. Opehere. Mm. This is a type of. Uh, you know what's it called? Um, porridge. Porridge, yes. You know you can. Uh, this one you can use a yam or or plantain to make it. That's all pehere. Uh -huh. So the letter the letter P is standing for the sound P. Then this is the re we were talking about just now. Uh -huh. re, single single R. Single R for a -O. <coughs> mm -hmm. Then move on, move on, move on to the next. The, the letter, the letter S for the sound C. The sound is written. I mean, the symbol is in red. Then you have uh, T. No, go on, go on. These are all C. The C. Then you have the T in all time. You see again, mm -hmm. the R is O with a, a sub dot, and then the N is A N. So you have three sounds, but four letters. So no, you know, the A N stands for the the single sound N. <coughs> then you have the V in the V. Go on, go on the next. That is the V. Move up. Move up. Oh, there's lots of sound. Oh, wait. Uh -huh, go on. Uh, yeah, that's the V in the V. 
Then the we in a way. And then the ye in a year. Ye in a year. Then the z in a z. O z. Z. Then the, the, go, go for that. Just go on. The nasal consonants. Okay, these are, sorry, sorry. These are the, where you use diagrams. Where you use diagrams. The B in Egbaraka is represented by the diagram GB. Yeah. So represent that single sound, B, that okay. you hear. So oh. next. Let's move quickly. Then the G, GH, GH, that is the diagram GH, stands for the, the sound G in Orede. Yeah. G in Orede. Yeah. <coughs> okay, let's go on. Then the diagram KH stands for the sound G in Ache. Ache. That is KH. Diagram representing that single sound. The he you hear in ahe. Okay, let's go on. Then the p in uku. <coughs> the diagraph kp. The diagraph kp stands for that for that single sound p that uh, a white man cannot pronounce. Then yes. you have the go on. That's what I was saying at the beginning that uh, my name, because of the KP, uh, the English speaking people cannot pronounce it. No, they cannot. They cannot. Because they don't have it. It's not, it's, it's not in their sound system at all. Mm. Okay, then you have the, the, the diagram ROH representing the sound RI, RI, ROH, RI in a RU. You don't say a ru. That's wrong. You say a ru. Mm -hmm. oh <coughs> a ru. But it's a little bit difficult and the Edo writing, writing a do language. It's not that very easy. Okay, then you have the 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 re the, the same type of re you have in English in a re is to be represented by double R. For instance, in the name Osaro, mm. you have the reader O C R R O. So when you are going to write it, you write O S A double R O with a sub dot. Osaro, in Osaro. Osaro, yes. Mm. You, you use double R, not a single R that that, that everybody writes. It's wrong. Mm -hmm. Then you have it in the uh, ore, you know, the double R there, ore. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the ore, the, the pillars you have in the in the house. Osaro, okay, all these things that we have to rewrite it out so that people can see. This is very interesting. Osaro should be written with double R, not single R, as many people do today. Mm -hmm. Then we have the VB. The VB standing for the sound V in a very VB. You know, uh, it is short, it's shortened to a very, a very, a very, but the full, uh, the full form is a very, a very. Okay, let's go for that. Let's go for that. Then the nasal consonant. Hey, my name is Mubayebo. So go on, go on, go on. Go on. Uh -huh. So you have the, the me in a man. There is no, no problem there. Go to the next one. Go, go, go to the next one. Okay, I, I'm coming. I'm coming, sir. Eh? I, I, I can hear a noise. Is it from your side? It's okay. Then you have the... The knee in a knee or a knee. There is no problem. So go on with this. These are single, you know, the way we use diagraph is what we are going to. And that is where the problem is. <coughs> you know, the, the sound, the nasal consonant, me, me, is represented 
orthographically by M W. Then the 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 vowel letter that that comes after it. There is no N. There is no N. As many people put it today, is wrong. So when you have M W, the the letter for the or the vowel that comes, there is no N that follows. <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to the next one. And then you have Umwame. You see the diagram there? N W, that is the, the, the diagram that stands for the sound Mwi Mwi in Umwame. Mwi. That sound is also not in English. Oui. I thought there is an N. I thought there is an N after E. No, they, you know, that is the, the, the way they write it wrongly. We are, we are showing how it should be properly written. Oh, boy. That is what you have there. In green, NW stands the, the diagram for that consonant. That nasal cons uh, consonant. Oui. <coughs> The wind that you have in Umwame. And then you have the NY for the sound, the nasal consonant ni in inya. No, put it down. Ni in inya. So, well, you know, uh, we can stop there. You know, the, maybe another, another occasion we'll be able to expatiate on all these ones. These representations we have there. <clears throat> okay. So uh, I have some few questions, and uh, the floor is open for the audience to ask their questions right now. Okay. So um, my question. Hello, guys. If you are watching right now, there is a phone number here. Just call in on WhatsApp to ask your question. Meanwhile, I'm going to ask my question now, but. Uh, in order uh, for me to ask the question to be clearer to the audience, I have to use uh, a presentation like a PowerPoint presentation where I will write those uh, uh, words that I'm concerned about, then we clarify it. Especially that one that has to do with Obaga talk me. Obaga yes. talk me. This. I want you to see what I'm writing now so that it will be clearer to the audience. So I said to uh, in the no language, eh? or say me, or say me gay. It's a say me gay. Okay. Then, or say me gay would be like what? O, uh, mm -hmm. O, S, E, M, W, E, G, I, E. Or say me gay. Okay, and some people are adding uh, the N after the N W E N. -G. No, it's wrong. I said it shouldn't be. It's it's you know it, it is. Once you have the the nasal consonant, the the letters representing any of the nasal consonants, any vowel coming, any letter for the vowel coming after, there is no N after. Okay, and uh, okay. So, uh, what is your question, sir? Go ahead. Hello, Omoba. Eh, don't, eh, don't, no, 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 go ahead. Uh -huh. Eh, 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 no, you see, when we are not going in now, Ruda or my even are going to say hey, and I'm not going to say hey, because Ruda, if you do, you know, I have to be a lot of people. We are telling you how to write something or where any of us are going to We are telling you how it is. It's a digraph. It's a digraph representing that nasal consonant that you are used to, you know, writing uh, as O W. E with an N. Doesn't make it right. Uh, That's so, what we're saying. 
Okay, oh, when I don't know, as a let me write it out so that people can see this. I want hey, to... where is this wrong? Yes, I understand you, sir. I want to write something out here. It is the same way we are talking about hmm. to that they write T O R that that everybody write you know write the wrong thing doesn't make it right. Okay, we are telling you, you this own way is wrong, sir. Oh, well, like this is wrong. Uh, when you write it, uh, when you go in, uh, uh. it's wrong. Oh, it's wrong because you uh, analyze uh, mm. that particular consonant, that nasal consonant is not there. Okay. It's not there in, in the, the way it is written now. Where we're going now. Uh. Okay. Now, uh, mm. uh, in, in where, if you are confused, Use the, uh, the 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 phonetic spelling strategy. Oh, when why why I spell it here? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Hold on, sir. He's asking another question. Wait a minute, not that I will I will translate it to you. Hello. It, 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 that uh, where where oh, eh um sir is uh, where when me yang boy now is the right way of writing oh, where, eh? yeah yeah because because he doesn't know how to write it so in your time you know he's a professor from the university of Benin. so in your time now where this are uh, some of the wrong ways of uh, spelling the Edo language eh? hello Hello. Hmm. Hello. Hello. so guys if you are interested in the whatsapp group it's going to be restricted to only those who are willing to learn and have the certificates because we have this uh, 12 months program it's going to be once in a month every last saturday of the month we're going to be hosting this edo language in collaboration with the university of benin okay the department of linguistic studies so if you want to earn the certificate, you can join the WhatsApp and also join the program once in a month. If you are able to cover eight months, eight lectures out of the 12, you will be awarded a certificate at the end of the program. That will be in December. So if you are interested, kindly call me with this phone number here. You can see the phone number in the scrolling bar call me on whatsapp and let me know if you want to join the whatsapp whatsapp group so from there we're going to be communicating and uh, during the lecture you can join okay and we're going to post any resources regarding a dual language uh in the whatsapp group as well so i think that is the end of the program for today thank you all and i will see you guys Maybe if you join the WhatsApp, then we'll discuss uh, in the WhatsApp group. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next month. Next month, the same time. Uh, it's going to be 4 p.m. Nigerian time, uh, 10 a.m. Canadian time. Okay. Next month, the last Saturday of February, we're going to come back and with another topic, another professor. But I'm telling Professor Omozuwa to please join us. 
next month so that we can clarify some questions about this topic today. The topic is very broad and we need to ask more questions about uh, how to spell the Edo language properly. All right. Thank you all, my people. Abala talk me. Look, why? Yo, when my ass fell off, Abala talk me. Oh, this is the correct way. You see this O A O after T T O, and there's supposed to be a dot, dot under the O. Okay, that is the proper way of spelling Abala talk me. Uh, you know, we don't have so much time. Otherwise, we wanted to ask questions about these spellings so that we pull out some of the spellings and clarify the audience about how to spell this Edo language properly or correctly, you know, how to spell Edo language correctly because we are making mistakes. Even Uwesi, Uwesi, they said the way we are spelling it is very, very wrong. Very, very wrong. So all these things we have to clarify, at least we should know how to write in our own language our mother tongue should not rely on the english english all the time we should know how at least basic basic way of writing a dual language you can say what's your tenure why she there now call and then today yeah see where all those simple 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 sentences we should know how to write them uh correctly you know we don't have to go more deeper but at least basic basic Ama o yedo wa ko yo o wa ko wa wese ah okay okay azekbe you know all these simple simple uh, sentences we should know how to construct them right with a do language okay wa ko yo so I will talk to you guys if you join the WhatsApp and uh, I will see you guys next month wa wese o bye.